Hi friends, today we are going to be working on division, facts, and extension. So go ahead and write that at the top of your notebook. So we're going to start off here just by reviewing some common vocabulary terms for division that you should be familiar with. Okay, so when we talk about 6 times 7 equals 42, we've got our two factors in our product. Okay, and we're going to think about the division fact that can be posed using those same numbers in this multiplication division fact family. Okay, go ahead and write those two different division facts in your notebook that we can form using those same three numbers. I'm going to pause right here and go ahead and write those down. Okay, so you should have written 42 divided by 7 equals 6, or 42 divided by 6 equals 7 right there. And so when we talk about this first number, big number, that's our dividend. Okay, we're dividing it, 42, into six equal groups. That is our divisor, what we're dividing it by. Go ahead and label these two parts or any one of those two number sentences, just like I am. And then our result of a division is called a quotient. Let's go ahead and make sure that you've labeled each of those parts, just like I have. Okay, so I'm going to erase right here, but you probably have more room in your notebook. So I want you to write three numbers that are in the fact family. 9 times 6 equals x. What are the three numbers in that fact family? Go ahead and write that down and circle them for me. Okay, right, we've got 9 times 6 and x. Also, it's part of that fact family. It's what we call a variable, right? A variable stands for a number. In this case, it stands for the number 54. But it's still part of that same fact family. You can flip it around and think, what divided by 9 equals 6? Or divided by 6 is equal to 9. But we still we consider that part of the fact family, even though we know that it's going to stand for the number 54. Okay? So, knowing one multiplication fact leads to knowing two separate division facts. And we can also use this knowledge as we think about extensions. Okay? So, we're going to practice a few different extensions before we move on. Okay? So, when we think about 63 divided by 7, go ahead and write that down in your notebook and put the quotient there. All right, 63 divided by 7 is equal to 9, 9 being our quotient. Slant that division a little bit more. Okay, so I can do an extension by adding a 0. So if I know 63 divided by 7 is 9, then 630 divided by 7 is 90. All right, I ask myself, how many groups of 7 goes into 630? Okay. So if I said 27 was divided by 3 is equal to 9, then 270 divided by 3 is equal to 90. So I'm going to pose a couple more different fact extensions for you, and I want you to write those answers in your notebook. Okay, so go ahead and pause right here. Make sure that you've written each of those down 
and then solve those using your basic facts to check then your extension. Okay, so I hope that you've paused and then you're checking for understanding right now. So I've got 1,000 divided by 10, 100, 2,000, or I'm sorry, 200 divided by 20, 10, 12 times what equals 120, 12 times 10, 240 divided by 30, or 30 times what equals 240, and then 3 times 8 is 24, so 80, and then 2,000 divided by 50, if I did 20 divided by 5 as my basic fact, then I need 2,000 with 3 zeros, and 50 would equal 40. Okay, so we're going to use the same idea here, practicing with some different division facts and extensions, as we rename some numbers that are going to help us to with a mental division strategy that we'll work on together in class. Okay, so I'm going to draw a name collection box here. But there's going to be some specific rules to our name collection box. So I want you to go ahead and write down the same name collection box in your notebook. And this time, we're going to be concentrating on writing down numbers that are equivalent in these different boxes to 68. But we're going to try and come up with numbers that are multiples of other numbers. So for example, 68, I can break up into more friendly numbers, 63 and 5, right? 63 is a multiple of 7 right there, okay? So I know 7 times 9, oops, plus 5 is also equal to 68, okay? But I wrote this way because 9 is a multiple of 3, right? I could also think about breaking 68 into some other friendly numbers using multiples as my number. I could do this as 35 plus 21 plus 7 plus 5, 35 and 21, both being multiples of different numbers. I could also write this as 21 plus 21 plus 21 plus 5, 21 being those multiples of different numbers as well. Okay, so I'm going to write another number. I want you to get another main collection box ready, and I want you to concentrate on naming your numbers, your equivalent numbers, using multiples of other numbers. Okay. So I'm going to erase right here. I hope that you've written that name collection box in your notebook. I want you to follow this rule that we talked about. Okay. And draw another name collection box. And this time, let's make this name collection box different names for um, 96. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and draw a name collection box for 96 right here. Naming your equivalent numbers using multiples of other numbers. All right, friends, um, I will see you a little bit later in class today. Bye.